Aha! There's the views. Lake George. Just getting an infestation of little miniature clams. Someone's bait bucket transported them from somewhere else. Huh! Just noticed more of these little buttons for an old railroad of some sort. Boy, lots of work to put that in hundred years ago. Big spikes. Ding! Reminds me of at the bars in the amusement park. The big hammer where you hit the bell. Did that once in Connecticut. No, not Connecticut. East Durham. Hmm. Just outside the Catskills. Irish area. Is it East Durham? I don't remember. Hmm. Think about that. Went there with my buddy Eric that died last December. I was pretty good at it. Had a good wallop. Ba-ding! Whack! Ba-ding! Did it about ten times in a row. Ba-ding! I'm at the amusement park hitting that big hammer on the weight, sending up the gong to hit the bell. Ba-ding! Ba-ding! Oh yeah, there's a road here we could have driven up. You made me walk up. Forget it, I'm going back down and driving up. I guess it's worth the last five minutes to the top, huh? Look at the freaking parking lot they've got here. Oh, I see. Which way? Happy trails to you until we meet again. I don't know the rest of the words, so you'll have to sing along by yourself. Yeah. Some kind of water wheel. I don't know where to get the water. Why? That's a big blast hole they drilled. What they would do is they'd drill these rocks in the summer. They'd fill with water naturally in the winter. Water would expand and crack the rock. Then they'd break it off. Lots of pulleys and cables and rigging before the steam engine was invented and put to use in the mid-1800s. Whoa. Thank goodness for sunshine. Until we meet again. Happy trails. Woo! That'll make a mess of your tire. Better have road hazard warranty. Alright. We're just about at the top. Just about. Good boy, Muggs. Maybe you'll get a hot dog at the top. With some trash. Don't you love it when people throw their trash? in the woods, or anywhere for that matter. Cigarette butts, beer cans, food wrappers. I watched a guy drive by an apart apartment building, opens his window and throws his butt out on the street. He would have been going slower, I would have walked over and thrown it back in his car. Jeez. And they know it's wrong, because sometimes they look around, make sure no one's watching. Wow. Summit Park, Lake George, New York. Ooh, there you go. You can almost see New York City. I'm joking. Well, if that's west, that must be north. There's the Adirondack Northway, which I've been hearing the entire time in the background. Those bloody Harleys rumbling away. Oh, oh chipmunk. Lake George. There's the boat. Southern end of the lake. Beacon, the mini hop.
Aha. Right on 17, I think 17, 17 takes you to New Jersey, the land of no self-serve gasoline and cheap gas. Or take 87, you turn east towards 95, make sure your easy pass is all recharged because if you go through the fast lane and you're out of minutes on your easy pass, $50 fee. Nice, huh? For a one or two dollar toll, they charge you 50 bucks. Last year when we were in Florida, I bought a Sun Pass and it wasn't working. And the rental car company charged us six dollars for a 50 cent toll. Something like three, four, or five of them came in the mail. <sighs> Never called them to fight with it. Because we had an Easy Pass or a Sun Pass, pardon me. Oh, yeah. Nice. You know how they blasted this rock open a hundred years ago before dynamite was invented or 150 years ago they would they would drill holes in the rock very carefully and they let it fill with water and the rock would just split you get it split what are you talking about dark what do you think comes after day anyways oh yeah dark nice concrete job Probably precast. Wow, six six minutes and fifty seven seconds of me babbling away. Map trail to you. Working on it. I'll get there. The crowd that watches my videos doesn't care about nature. They care about highways and development and doing smoky burnouts and high revving engines and crisp hard shifts into second gear to snap the tires loose and Cummins turbo diesel builds. You know, if I built a Cummins turbo diesel, I'd get a lot more hits. So I'm going to change the name of my channel to Cummins Wild. You know what they say about trails? They're happy trails. Oh man, bitch and complain, bitch and complain. What do you go to school to bitch and complain? That's right. When's my taxi coming? Oh boy. A little rough around the edges. Hmm. Curbs. That's what they. That's what they needed. That housing development that they're doing in the Hague. Granite curbing. They have nothing. Crappy tarmac going into unkempt shrubs, and they have the nerve to ask a million dollars. I saw a whole bunch of them. Vista. Okay. And don't and put your face in it. And then you'll turn it off? Either that or the battery will go dead. Grease on the pivot point. Okay. Another hour and a half of light. I want to go for a bike ride. What are we having for dinner? I'm going for a bike ride. Maple walnut, maple pecan encrusted salmon? Oh, the log jam. That's the name of the restaurant where we got that food poisoning. Remember that 10 years ago? <laughs> Turn that freaking thing off before I shove it up. You know what? All right. <laughs> From the top of the trail, Lake George, New York. Thank you for watching. And we're heading downhill. Right, Muggs? Drinking from the dirty pools of water that he does. Thanks for watching and listening. I didn't crack 10 minutes on this video. Next time, maybe.
Goodbye. <laughs> Crack her up! <laughs> no echo. Goodbye. Well, I'm back at the road where I made my U-turn probably an hour ago and uh, trying to rent apartments. Sunday evening, we're always on duty. What I would do is, because a graduate team usually runs that. Like, historically, we've owned the building seven years, and historically, that's what happened. Whoa, careful! I know. Wow. I'm not jumping. I've got too many problems with my feet. No jumping for me. Need some tougher. Whoa! I just got a prickly bush. Yowzer! Ooh. Tupperware? Right through the mucky muck. Oh, yeah. Drinking from a slimy puddle, huh, Mark? Good boy. I talked to my husband. I'm fresh. Okay. Don't quote like me. Like Irish Spring. Uh, I like it too. Roads to the summit. Look how nice the roads here are maintained. Great shape. No cow paths. Fill her up! I have no idea how many miles I've done, but I know from experience that I should put the gas in slowly. And I'd get around 43, 44 miles per gallon. That's what I used to get when I used to ride with my buddy Eric. I used to always get just about exactly the same mileage. He had the same bike as mine. He had a 2000 and Two, a 97, then a 2002, then he bought something else and never saw it, then he died. So I can't tell you what my tool mileage is today, but the day is over. Lake George isn't quite in season yet because what it is, it's crazy here. And the price of fuel today, $4.09. She's real fine, my 409. 425 horsepower, that's funny. And a 435 is Corvette. 1967, 68, 69. Yep, 427, 435. Three two-barrels, no air conditioning, unless you got the 400 horsepower hydraulic cammed version. That came with air. Three two-barrels and air conditioning. The heck is that rice rocket coming up the hill with an HID headlight? What a buzz box. Why would anybody want to ride something that sounded like a friggin' bug on steroids. Alright, I rode uh, 100 miles to get here. $15 of fuel, but who knows what I had in the tank before. Over and out from Lake George.